Imagine you get a job. You've done the job before, but you go to a new company. And the first week they tell you that you gotta work a major project. Let's say a project that is worth millions of dollars. And if you do not land this account, or you don't complete this project, your ass is grass and the team is going to lose their account. How would you respond to that? Probably by, you know, making a mistake during the first interview or during the first meeting. Maybe you'll fumble a little bit, but hopefully you'll catch a stride. Hopefully you'll be able to rise to the moment. Hopefully you'll be able to be successful within that moment in that stressful condition without you really knowing even your password or how to log into the systems. Well, that's what Josh Dobbs does basically all the time. He's been traded about four times in the past year and a half, and he keeps having to play. And what does he do? He just says, okay, I'm gonna learn the playbook as fast as humanly possible, and I'm gonna go out there and win a game for the Minnesota Vikings, who doesn't seem like, feels like losing or giving up on this season. Even with Kirk Cousins having a torn Achilles and being out for the rest of the year. Justin Jefferson, he's hurt as well. He's on IR. Who gives a hell? We still gonna go out here and compete completely. If you are a Minnesota Vikings fan, you are so blessed because you have a team that's gonna fight no matter who the hell's the quarterback. So they were starting the rookie Hall. Hall got concussed trying to run in for a touchdown. And then Josh Dobbs came in. And as you know, Josh Dobbs just got here or to Minnesota on Tuesday. Tuesday! And he just led a game-winning touchdown to win the game over the Falcons, who's had their quarterback Heineke on the squad all year. It's one of the best games I've seen. And it was with two teams that are basically middle of the pack. We don't really know if they're going to make the playoffs or what. The Vikings, I mean, they might make the playoffs if they keep playing like this. And I personally damn sure think that Josh Dobbs will play the rest of this year. But Josh Dobbs just got traded from the Arizona Cardinals. And that team is god awful. They're one and eight right now. But you see how with a few more weapons and a little bit more time, once he got settled into the game, he was able to make a major impact. So he had a safety, like I mentioned, you know, that first mistake I was talking about in my, you know, hypothetical scenario when I started the video, he had a safety when he first got in there. He took a few stats, sacks, he had some bad passes, but once he got in that pocket, once he started to understand, he was just out there playing football. He was just out there playing backyard football, running around, making first downs. It's extremely impressive how Dobbs is so athletic. So he's able to just kind of fit into a system and make the system a little bit more dynamic because he can extend plays. And I'm trying to tell you right now, he don't know that damn playbook. He does not know that playbook. He, he knows some of the running concepts and I think he can catch it because he's highly intelligent. But as a Tennessee volunteer, that's one thing they always said about Dobbs, that Dobbs is one of the smartest quarterbacks or like football players they ever been around. The dude, I believe he was trying to be an astrophysicist or something like that, an engineer, like he is extremely smart. So he's able to pick up concepts fast, which is a blessing to him. But his athleticism is completely underrated and he can throw the football. Not the most accurate quarterback in the world, but he can throw and now he got weapons. Addison is the bomb. <laughs> that is one of the best wide receivers, rookie wide receivers we've ever seen in the NFL. He can do it all. And then having Justin Jefferson out there too, which he didn't play, is just a, that's just another weapon. Once, if Dobbs continue to play and be the starter for the rest of this year, when you have Justin Jefferson back, if they let him play, because you, you know, it really depends on the record. Like, do you want Justin to get hurt? You don't know. So if he plays, imagine having them together and Hawkinson, who got also injured in this game as well. The Vikings will be a really good team, but I just have to say, I'm very impressed by Dobbs. He is like the new Fitz magic to me. He is the quintessential backup. He can go into any system and he can help you get into a position to win a game. 
And that's the reason why the coach of the Vikings after this game hugged him and talked to him. He didn't just give him like a good job hug. He hugged him and talked to him for like 25 minutes. Like, I know you just got here. I know you wasn't supposed to play today. You was going to be the backup to the rookie and all of that. But you came, stepped in. You worked hard. You bust your ass. And you don't think, you don't think that those players are looking at him like, yo, that motherfucker's a warrior. He's a soldier. That's exactly what he is, man. Shout out to Josh. To, shout out to Josh Dobbs, man. Like for real, Joshua Dobbs. It, it's nothing you can say about that type of dude. That's just a guy that got heart. He's gonna go out there and battle. He's gonna go out there and fight. He's like a Baker Mayfield to me. He's gonna go out there and fight. He's gonna go out there and give you everything he got, every ounce of what he has, every bit of sweat and energy. And we need more people like that in the world. And I know that he'll never be probably like a MVP or fucking all pro or any shit of that nature. But why can't he be the next Geno Smith? Why can't he actually find a situation where someone actually invests in him? Why can't he get some more dominant weapons? Maybe he has that in Minnesota. If he keeps playing like this shit, they might say hell with it. If Kurt doesn't come back, which I think Kurt is going to come back, by the way, y'all. I think he's going to get like a four-year contract. They want Kurt. Kurt is highly regarded in the NFL. You know what I mean? If you know. But like Dobbs, you know, depending on the injury, he could play the rest of this year. Obviously, he's going to probably play the rest of this year for the Vikings and be the starter unless Hall comes back and really like, you know, shows that he can do it in practice. But just let Dobbs get an opportunity with some of the best weapons that we have in the NFL and just let him see. Let's let him let's see what he can do. Let's really see what he can do. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Hey, shout out to Corey. Thank you so much for buying one of our shirts. The Shooter McGavin shirt. We appreciate you going on the blog and purchasing that. Thank you very much. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. Guys, let me know what you think about Dobbs in the comments below. YFM Sports.